Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Going to do another equipment review for you today, and this is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Uh, it's a little high tech for you know your basic survival kit, but it is one of the best inventions I've seen in recent times for survivability, and it's going to help you either in a wilderness survival situation, an urban survival situation, a grid down situation. Uh, just about anything, is gonna, it's going to be beneficial to you. It's going to help you cook, it's going to help you boil your water, and it's going to keep your electronic devices charged, and it's going to do so using sticks. So it's very fuel efficient, and it'll just keep it going and going and going. And you saw me mention it if you watched my uh, cell phone survival or smartphone survival video, and that is the BioLite stove. And we're going to go inside right now, and I'm going to show it to you. And we'll see what all it can do. Okay, maybe technically we're not going to see what it can do, but I will tell you what it can do. If you want to see what it can do, there's about 50 million videos on YouTube with people lighting it up. So I don't feel I need to go that route. I like to keep my videos quick and to the point on PM101. So here it is. This is the BioLite stove. It comes in a stuff sack. And it's basically two pieces. You've got your stove piece and you've got your battery pack. First things first, we're going to flip these legs out. And we're going to take the battery fan unit. We're going to insert the thermocouple right there. Actually, I need to take this down because this leg locks that in place. Now this is the entire unit. This is a electronically uh, how, what's the word I should look for? Uh, amplified rocket stove. So all this takes is simple biomass. Uh, a couple sticks and some sort of small fire starter like a little piece of uh, fat wood. Drop it in there. Get it going. Once you got a little bit of the flame going on this thing, you'll be able to turn on the fan. And then that circulates the air inside the chamber, and that's just going to stoke the fire even better. And as it continues, as it gets a little bit hotter, you'll have the option to hit this again and increase the fan speed. And this will get going into like a small little fire tornado. And this burns so hot and so efficiently that all you pretty much have left over is a white ash. Now, what this thing does is the it's got a lithium battery pack in here that's powering the fan. And as it circulates the fire, as that heat builds up, this thermocouple in here is going to take the, the energy from the fire. Don't ask me how. This is like smart guy stuff. And transfer it and recycles it through the lithium battery. And once it has enough excess energy in there, you'll get a green light. And at that point, go ahead and shut this thing off. At that point, you will be able to open this little port here. And it's got a USB plug. And you can charge your portable devices. And so when you're doing the uh, smartphone survival thing like in that vid, which this vid right here, if you didn't see it before, you will be able to take this thing and not have to worry about your battery because you will be able to power that thing indefinitely. And what I've done, it took me a while to find this stuff, but I looked around online. I didn't have as much success with the AAAs, but I did find a USB charger for an 18650 battery. So if you're using an 18650 uh, battery powered tactical flashlight in your emergency kit, this is a good way to uh, continually power that device. Those are the two big things I think about, you know, powering when I think about the BioLite in an emergency situation, grid down scenario, you know, collapse, whatever, is keeping my smartphone going because of the amount of data I have stored in there and keeping my flashlights going. So. I also found this feels kind of cheap and I'd be willing to bet it probably takes forever to charge but when you have no other option 
you know, you take what you can get. This is a AAA uh, battery charger with a USB plug. So with my main uh, EDC flashlight, which runs on two AA batteries, I'll be able to keep that going as well. If you want to see the fire actually come out of this, just type in BioLite Stove in YouTube and you'll come up with 50 million videos of it. So no, no need to uh, beat a dead horse here. But I just wanted to show this to you because I think this is an extremely beneficial device. This is, has extremely high value as far as your survivability goes and just keeping your stuff running. And in my opinion, uh, this thing is well worth the 140 bucks it's going to take to get it and get it shipped to you. So I'm going to put, uh, put the links to it where you can buy it yourself in the notes and you can check it out yourself. So that's the BioLite Camp Stove. Definitely, definitely Prepared Mind 101 recommended. So that's it. Like I said, I wanna keep these short and sweet and to the point. So I got more videos to make. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking and rating my videos and please subscribe to Prepared Mind 101. Thanks a lot, guys. One quick addendum I should uh, make to this video. Uh, I mentioned it in the other video, but Definitely want to have it in this one. Uh, keep in mind, if you want this thing to keep serving you in a survival grid down scenario, you need to take care of it. And this does have electronics in it. So what's the number one uh, thing that will kill electronics? Water. So I don't have it in this box, but I have it stored with the box. And that is, if it's going in a pack, I've got one of the uh, small dry bags that comes in the three pack that you can buy at Walmart specifically set aside for this stove. So we're just going to stick that in here. Pull it down. I didn't get the air out of it, but you get the point. Uh, now that way I've got an extra level of protection to protect this uh, crucial piece of equipment from getting wet and then not being able to charge my stuff. So if you do invest in that, definitely invest in the extra 10 bucks for the three pack of dry bags at Walmart. Because uh, there's one smaller than this, which is good for a lot of things. And then the, uh, the big yellow one that comes with it that's bigger than this one uh, will actually hold a tightly rolled uh, wool blanket. So definitely that's a good thing to compress your wool blanket, get it down to a small spot and uh, keep that thing waterproof as well. So that's it guys. Thanks.